I'm presenting to you a super fun game. Okay. And um, after Bishop B4, I would like you to tell me your thoughts and how you would proceed and all that jazz. And take your time, please, by all means. I mean, there's a world in which I just want to castle and ignore the threat on C3. Okay, so is that the move that you like the most based on just a cursory glance? Yes. Right, I'm very happy about that. Having said that, Queen D4 seems to stand out as an almost instant win because it hits knight and rook. Maybe knight f6? So, oh, yeah, uh, in. Well, yeah. If after queen d4 they play knight f6, yeah, you already then, you def then you definitely go for it. Yeah, so yeah. does black have a better move after queen d4 than knight f6? Maybe like queen and f6? Actually, queen f6? Yeah, this is yeah. very good. So see, this is an important skill that I would like to uh, perfect or at least work on, which is that um we work a lot on predicting our opponent's best moves so mm -hmm. after queen d4 their mm -hmm. best move is queen f6 now i would like you to give me a line mm -hmm. and an evaluation there so i mean like queen d4 queen f6 and like mm -hmm. if we just like trade trade knight f6 and not that happy on the trade actually it's somehow like e5 and c3 seems a bit loose yep what about critic c4 Queen takes e4, I thought like bishop takes knight, pawn takes, and uh, queen c3, and then maybe the rook on a1 falls. Yep, so this is not looking attractive at all. Yeah. So now we ruled out queen d4. Yeah. Now you told me that you like castles on the cursory glance. Yeah. I would like you to, to call out a few lines for me there too, mm -hmm. just so that we can have a bit of a feel for what's going on in that position. So maybe like castle, knight takes knight, Pawn takes, bishop takes, and I'm almost tempted to not go rook b1 and just go bishop h6. Mm -hmm. But I, I might be going way too ambitious. But like rook b1 and. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like rook, hold b1, on. rook b1, bishop g7 feels hopeless. So like if I'm castling, I feel like I should commit to bishop h6 at that point. Right. So I really like the way you think. And see, the thing is, is that I did already have a sense or a feel for this last time. We had a lesson that your general chess intuition hmm. is really, really good. Hmm. And um, I think that we should try to exploit this to the max. But exploiting it is, is that <laughs> instead of you playing these moves out immediately, we are going to now engage with these variations in depth. Yeah. So after castles, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes c3, Hmm. Bishop h6. Yeah. Bishop takes a1. Queen takes a1. Yeah. Rook g8. Or rook f8. No, no, no. Rook f8 is very so, really yeah. bad on account. On queen g7 and a few other yeah, moves. Yeah. No, I have f f6. Yeah. F6, but like bishop g7 and. Right. So this is where things are going to get a little bit hairy. We jumped into very, very deeply into a very long line. Yeah. So I'm going to be nice to you. Hmm. And I'm going to play this out for a little bit. Hmm. So bishop, actually quite a bit. Bishop a1, queen a1, hmm. uh, f6. Yeah. According to the analysis I conducted and the book that I found this game in, yeah. bishop g7 here yeah. is not the best move. Okay. And again, we are going to massively focus here yeah. on trying to find our opponent's best sources. So what can black do after bishop g7? I mean, which is a little bit annoying. Not very, but a little bit. I mean, is there a word where you can just go king f7? Very good. Yeah. Very, very good, man. So after bishop g7, instead of moving the rook and allowing complete carnage with bishop takes f6, yeah. you go king f7. Yeah. And after bishop takes, queen takes, yeah. it's not that clear. It, yeah. it does look like we are doing really, really well, hmm. but um, there is still a game ahead. There yeah. is still a game ahead. Yeah. And so, so like in this position, bishop g7 yeah. is not best. What is? It's like 95 to prevent it. Uh, well, it's not so much to prevent it, although that's part of it too, yeah. but it also puts a tremendous amount of pressure yeah on um uh on uh, e6 and f7 mm -hmm. right um what do you do here just let's have a look at some crazy lines mm. since your instincts are so spot on what appears to be a very good attacking movie for what like f4 f4 mm. F4. Now, after um, taking on G5, you obviously have the full carnage. Yeah. 
with queen e5, but actually I would take g5 first, yeah. sending the queen away, and then this is almost mate. Yeah. So what do you do after f4, queen e7? Like it's a bit ambitious, but I somehow like knight f7. <laughs> <laughs> um i'm really happy that you're having fun i thought you would um but uh let's just stay on the grounds of reality there's yeah. a very basic fact there's a very basic tactic there that you're missing that's see this is the problem <laughs> uh, you are so hardwired to really epic chess yeah that you miss the ba you, you miss the baby ones hmm. so what do we do here maybe just takes an uh, e5 queen takes bishop g7 and the rook is trapped no it's not i have rook g8 but like no no pawn takes queen takes queen takes and then bishop g7 i still have rook g8 oh sorry yeah rook g8 i was something f8 or something yeah yeah, yeah. no you're missing something far more basic than that <laughs> it's literally a one mover queen e7 walked into a tactic uh d6 yeah too easy right yeah <laughs> f4 f4 is beauty yeah queen e7 and then d6 and you just mow down the board yeah completely yeah, yeah. Mm. very very good stuff so now i'm going to go back a lot so after castles mm. what happened was, was that they took this they took this um but in this position yeah. let me just very quickly check yes they played d6 okay what do you do now maybe e4 I don't know if I like e4 because I'm not sure if I understand what it does. So if e4, I go knight d7, I feel like you're not putting pressure on with e4. Mm -hmm. And also it blocks up the down long diagonal, which, yeah. as you could tell, is a hunting ground for our tactical trickies. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 would, uh, I would like to consider that a move that has a bit more bite than um, e4. I mean, maybe like knight g5 with some takes takes ideas oh yes sir oh yes sir knight g5 for sure i mean um it really does add an again an extra layer of attack by bringing the knight into the fray so what do you do after bishop a1 exactly queen takes bishop i want you to call out a full line okay okay so uh knight g5 bishop takes rook queen takes rook uh rook g8 mm, no i mean maybe e5 and yes yes e5 uh, is is best what do you do then f4 yes keep going and then maybe it goes uh queen f6 um queen f6 or maybe wait yeah Knight d7 is also knight. Yeah, uh, knight d7 is definitely the move you are after yeah. there, buddy. Yeah, knight d7, very good. And now you will have an absolutely amazing line there. I'm curious how far I can push you with calculating this, so I'm not gonna play that on the board yet. Yeah. So after knight d7, you have a very very nice forcing sequence that is going to yield you a marvelous. Record. I mean, absolutely. I, I'm still tempted for knight f7 and pawn takes pawn discovery. <laughs> uh well. <laughs> Feel free to calculate it out and tell me and impress me if it works. I will be uh, very happy. <laughs> knight takes, king takes, pawn takes, pawn, and then... I think back to e8, because yeah, if back, I go to g8, yeah, then back to there e8. will be made threats. Yeah, yeah, and then e6. Yeah. And then... At that I... point, I reckon if I was black, I would probably play rook g8 to try to... Okay. Give... Defuse, defuse yeah. the situation as best as I can. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm hazarding a guess that you love that position for white. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't blame you for that. But yeah. I must tell you this. You have better than this. Oh, okay. Better than knight f7? Or... Um, a better way to execute the same idea. So you started with knight f7 yeah. and then fe5, yeah? So I'm thinking of taking first and then going knight f7. But I don't think that... Right. So fe, knight e, knight f7. Call me. Call that line out, please, for me. So uh, fe and then he takes the knight, knight d5. Yeah. And knight f7, and then he takes back with the knight, knight f7. Yep. And do we want to go queen g7 first, or maybe rook f7? I always do the more forcing one, friend. More forcing. Okay, rook f7, king f7, queen g7. And yeah, there's no yeah. e6, so just king e8, queen h8, and king d7. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I, I lost you there. So after rook takes f7, queen g7, check. Where did black go? Uh, e8. Because I heard you saying e6 at one no, point. No, no, I thought e6 was available, but the pawn is covering it. Correct. Yeah. So e8, yeah. and which point we go what? Uh, queen h8. Yeah. 
and king keep going d7 queen g7 and uh, no, uh, uh, oh uh, 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 wait maybe bishop h3 ah uh, yeah bishop h3 mm. and bishop g5 and the queen dies that's yeah. it friend that's it queen g7 would be a very bad blunder on account of chasing the king to safety yeah bishop h3 instead wins the queen yeah, yeah. very good very very good um so the line we talked about looked like this 9g5 bishop takes bishop, uh, queen takes e5 f4 yeah 97 and take e5 is the cleanest win with mm. this marvelous idea of knight f7 knight f7 rook f7 brutality is what it's called in mortal combat brutality mm. well done i'm very impressed man very very impressed so the game featured Huh. e5 you get to shine again i mean we would like to continue the same idea of f4 um this time you may be small uh short because after f4 i have knight d7 right and we can't just okay maybe yeah there's no queen g7 or anything on that side yeah. no and you also don't have a queen to penetrate with yeah, so yeah. ironically you were better off with me taking your rook and you having the queen ready to join the party but now mm. you don't have that Hmm. So now you need to actually find a different attacking pattern. Throw at me a few candidate moves because you are incredibly good at that. Uh, and then we'll work from there. I was thinking 96, but I don't think that's there. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you're getting a little bit carried away there. Yeah. Or maybe some kind of, no, 94, bishop g5, knight f6 kind of route. Aha. Uh -huh. So 94. Yeah. It is definitely a candidate move. Have you got any other? Bishop g7 with a similar 94 approach, but I, I don't like that that much. Well, after Bishop g7, Rook g8 is a temple, right? So yeah. then you are in a pickle, so that doesn't look good. No, I was like, you know, Bishop g7, Rook g8, Bishop f6, and then just kick the Bishop on c3 by Knight e4. But Yeah, but see, that that is really bad uh, on account of you trading off all your attackers, right? Yeah. So that your two best pieces are the Bishop and the Knight on g5, so to trade them away, would be yeah nah we're not doing that um okay so 94 seems to be the best candidate move so can you please tell me what you would want to do after 94 bishop a1 uh bishop g5 queen uh queen c8 and mm -hmm. uh knight f6 king yeah. i think king f8 I would, uh, yeah, uh, actually you know what how do you beat me after king e7 Okay, king e7. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you have nothing to attack with the knight on f6, is my claim. Yeah. Which may or may not be accurate, but hey, it, it's a little bit unclear, right? Yeah. And black is threatening now to play pawn h6 and uh, dismantle that uh, yeah. discovery slash battery. So, mm. uh, 94 queen c8. Let's try again. Uh, 94 bishop takes and then bishop g5, you mean? Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Sorry, yeah. 94 bishop takes a1, yeah. bishop g5. Five? Yeah, queen c8. Queen c8. Okay. Uh... It is definitely one uh, one way to go about it. Hmm. Um, but ironically, hmm. after knight e4, bishop hmm. takes a1. Yeah. You have a you have a better move better move than bishop g5, and it's very easy to tunnel vision on bishop g5 because it looks so attractive. But you have a better move than that. I mean, it's the same bishop g7 and the rook is kind of trapped. Oh, uh, I don't see how rook g8. The knight f6 and we take it. But uh, maybe queen takes it back and it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So then king e7, knight takes, queen takes is still yeah. a mess, right? Yeah. I'm thinking of f4. <laughs> nah, too slow. Too slow. Look at look, look at forcing moves first, chief. Forcing moves. I mean, there's only one check queen f4, but that, I feel like that can... Yeah. What's... Wait, wait, before you judge it, yeah. have a look at what it does. Is it just like c6? And... Well, there you go. So if c6 is forced, that uh, opens up a lot of issues because then the diagonal is on yeah. the d6 pawn is on hmm. uh it feels like uh, christmas came early so um i'm definitely good with that hmm. what else is uh there for black what, what do you do after knight d7 the bishop g5 knight f6 might just work out then exactly because then you have something to take with the knight yeah i'll play this out because it's worth showing. So after queen a4 check, obviously mm -hmm. queen d7 loses to knight f6. Yeah. Knight d7 loses to bishop g5. And now when I do the same dance, yeah. no matter where the king goes, yeah. you will take d7. Yeah. With a check on all three accounts. Yeah. And that's it, done, dusted. Mm -hmm. And therefore, c6 is forced. Yeah. 
and now you got to be you you will get to be a hero friend you will get to be a hero there are some insane ideas at play here i'm still thinking of bishop g5 knight f6 because there's no c8 this time you have to go to c7 but then hold on bishop g5 queen c7 let's say queen d7 oh c7 rather right yeah sorry of course queen c7 not d7 because of the check yeah, queen yeah. c7 check knight f6 what did you after king what did you after yeah, king f8 i couldn't find after king f8 it was so... yeah it, it's not so easy it's it's not so easy i tell you what hmm. a remarkably gifted student of mine in this position came up with the idea of knight c5 can you t can you tell me a what the idea is and b what the refutation of the idea is knight c so yeah he came up with knight c5 here which is absolute sheer insanity yeah. and awesomeness at the same time <laughs> and really the type of stuff you love to do yeah friend <laughs> So this is the time to shine. If like D takes and pawn takes C6 is kind of a threat. I mean, either okay, can you call that? Can you call that line out all the way? So like an, you will. Uh, knight C5 yeah. either B or D does. I mean, B is better. So B takes pawn takes C6, and knight takes C6. Bishop takes bishop takes queen takes, and then if you go king E7, um, maybe we have like. Bishop G5. Keep it going. F, uh, F6. Yeah. And then... And then we have a problem. Yeah. Now, in order to understand the genius behind the move, but also what's about, what is about to come, yeah. can you please tell me the difference between taking with B yeah. and D? You are welcome to say that there is no difference, but no, that would be surprising. There is a difference. Sorry, th there is a difference. Yeah, because there's no f6 after bishop g5. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So after dc, what did you do? Uh, pawn takes, uh, bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, king e7, bishop g5. Yes, and after f6? Bishop takes f6. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the big difference between bc yeah. and dc. Yeah. And now you are armed with the information that you needed yeah. to find a remarkably, absolutely sensational idea here huh. to make this idea work. <laughs> it needs a preparatory super aggro move. Huh. Again, one that is very close to your heart. Like C5? Exactly, mate. C5. Huh. And the board is on fire. Huh. Absolutely on fire. Actually, the game followed exactly this path, hmm. but he white did not play c5. Okay. Um, and unfortunately, I revealed what they did, but c5 is the best move in this position. Yeah. It's it is quite sensational. Yeah. Now, to be fair, after DC, the best move is not uh knight takes c5, which is the initial idea, right? Behind yeah. c5. Yeah. But knight takes c5 does win here. Hmm. Um, the engine prefers here a different move, which I believe is bishop g5 now. Mm. And I think the idea is, is that after queen c7, we have pawn d6, right? Mm. And then knight f6, and if the king goes here, we have mate on h6. Holy. Mm. Now, uh, I need to show you the game, though. So they played queen a3, mm. c5. What do you do now? No, I'm lying. No, wait. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm not lying, but I want you to tell me that the game. So instead of c5, bishop b2, but I want you to tell me what you would do after c5. Can we just not go queen a4? Very good. Queen yeah. a4 check back. Yeah. Very cheeky move. And that is complete destruction because, excuse me, there is no adequate way to block the check. And uh, yeah, black is completely falling apart yeah. which is why they played bishop b2 here i'm guessing you're going to take i mean i was considering not to take but <laughs> <laughs> well the, to be fair though you can't really get too cute yeah i mean knight d6 check is on i suppose yeah king e7 knight f5 but after king d7 a lot of things are hanging yeah yeah let, let's not get too cocky hmm. yeah 
So now, what do you do, friend? The awesomeness continues, by the way. So yeah. no mundane moves in this game ever. Now, like F4 looks good, like take stakes and we break through. Yeah, there might be a problem here with the position that uh, every white move wins, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, according to the engine, best move by oh. far. Uh, I was hoping that you would hit upon this idea, though. Yeah, I was thinking about it because like we were focusing on this for the past five minutes. But I, I thought you could just... Uh, There's not a lot that can be done. Yeah, you can't take with the pawns, so... <laughs> yeah, but if you play bishop c8, I can take on c6. So it's yeah. falling apart no matter what. Yeah. But yeah, you are right, actually. F4 is better. Mm. F4 is better. And after take, take... Oopsies. Oh. Um, yeah. Now there is a myriad of threat, but e6 in particular is super, super unpleasant. The mm. game so... Um, you are better now than a, a grandmaster who played it. Because the game saw knight c5. Mm. Good play is uh, queen e7. Yeah. What do you do? I was thinking something on knight b7, c5. <laughs> exactly, friend. Exactly. Knight b7 takes and c5. Mm. How beautiful. How absolutely amazingly beautiful. c5. And yet... Yeah. This position being plus seven, yeah. the GM actually stuffs this up yeah. shortly. Takes, takes, yeah. was good. No, actually, I'm lying. Yeah. And now I'm spoiled. Now, first I lied, then I spoiled. Um, okay, so actually, no, I didn't. Rook D1, C D6. One is good. Other one is completely killing it. Which is which? I mean, the natural instinct looks d6 but then i don't know what to do after knight d7 or something both of them are winning but one is a lot cleaner than the other mm -hmm. and the only way to tell man is if you calculate like a champion you are i mean like if you give me this position i'll play c d6 but because i know you showed me rook d1 i'm leaning towards rook d1 you i only i'm going to accept your answer if you offer me a line in fact two lines and you compare them and you base your evaluation on that Okay, like because otherwise it's otherwise it's guesswork based on yeah, this, yeah, right? Yeah. So like, uh, let's say C D six, Knight D seven, Bishop G seven, Rook G eight, Bishop takes uh, uh, E five, and I mean, it looks pretty good. But okay, I agree with everything you said. It looks pretty good, but you feel like it's not quite the best. After Knight D seven, you have a much better move than Rook G seven, uh, Bishop G seven, though. Maybe like Rook C one and Rook C one is a very good idea. And rook d1 is a very good idea hmm. because you can't defend the pawn on d5. Yeah. Because e4 loses the rook on h8, right? Yeah. Right. So actually c d6 is the better move. Okay. <laughs> and, the, and the difference is, just so that you understand it very clearly, because it's a very good comparison, hmm. is, is that if you go with rook d1 first, yeah. then after rook, knight c6, bishop takes d5, and uh. c d, the pawn takes whatever. Yeah. You wanna play rook c1, and so you waste a move on rook d1 and then to c1. Yeah. Whereas if you start by taking on d6 hmm. in the same line here, black can't castle queen side because rook c1 wins on the spot. Yeah. But if you start with rook d1, um, then it becomes inaccurate because now it takes too many moves to clear up the c file, yeah. and I have time to, to go away hmm. and defend. Hmm. And the GM messed it up, which is great news to us because there will be one last point mm. uh, where he could have done something amazing and he didn't, but it's still one. Winning move for white here. <laughs> you will find it in five seconds. <laughs> like, I like bishop takes in queen e, uh, queen e5. Oh, uh, that's not good enough because mm. then black has rook e8 and then yeah. uh, I will shield. Shield yeah. the checks on e7 and stuff, and uh, it looks acceptable, but um, now you need to be precise because yeah. we dropped the advantage from like plus seven to if you don't play the best, best move right here, right now, then mm. it's all gone. Mm. It's gonna be like zero zero. I put too much pressure on you with the five seconds. Yeah, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm again having too much fun. Like, I'm thinking like bishop c5. Um, what is the threat behind bishop c5? Just bishop d6, yes, or. Like, okay, oh, so calculate... Oh, oh, uh, oh something like bishop oh, c5, oh rook a5, bishop takes, queen takes, rook d6, and... Exactly, that's it, my friend. That's yeah. it, very good. So the point of this is that after rook a5, bishop takes, queen takes, you have this check with the pin still on, yeah. and mop up. Yeah. And black, uh, and white missed it. 
okay. right away, and they went a4. And although they did win the game, but now this is um, fishing in very murky waters. Hmm. This is not clean anymore. 